Hi, my name is Aaron Berg, and I am a sales engineer with Progress. In this video, I will briefly cover what Progress Data Direct Hybrid Data Pipeline is and how it can allow you to quickly OData enable your databases and by leveraging Salesforce Connect, expose this data on demand and in real time within your Salesforce instance. Hybrid Data Pipeline is a lightweight software service it provides standards-based access to over 20 on-premise and cloud data sources for use in client applications which support ODBC, JDBC, or OData. This includes sources such as Oracle, SQL Server, DB2, Apache Hive, Salesforce, and more. In this demonstration, we will be looking at using the Hybrid Data Pipeline server to directly access a cloud-hosted Oracle database. The Hybrid Data Pipeline server can be installed in the cloud, on-premises, or in your DMZ, depending on your use case. Note that the Hybrid Data Pipeline is designed for the cloud to include scalability, security, access management, and data compression. While Hybrid Data Pipeline supports ODBC and JDBC, Today I will be demonstrating its support for the OData REST API. To begin the demo, this slide reviews the architecture we will be working with. I have chosen to install the Hybrid Data Pipeline server in Amazon EC2 and connect it directly with an Amazon RDS Oracle database. As I proceed through the demo, I will connect to the Hybrid Data Pipeline instance user interface to step you through connecting to the Oracle data source and exposing several tables via OData. I will then take you through configuring an external data source in Salesforce and creating a tab to be able to view or modify the Oracle resident data. First, we're going to log into the Hybrid Data Pipeline user interface. Once logged in, we have the ability to create a new data source. When we click on that, you'll see the available data stores within the Hybrid Data Pipeline. If we click into Oracle, you see you have the ability to set all of your configuration, the username, password, port number, SID, all the connection information required to access that data store. If we cancel that and go back to our data source names, you'll see I've pre-configured an Oracle data source for the purpose of the demo. Here we've named it Oracle. We've set a user ID and password. We also have the full path to access that data source, the Oracle database in Amazon, the port number, as well as the SID. When we click test connection, you'll see that we've successfully established a connection. And then if we click update, we will save that data source into the hybrid data pipeline configuration. When we click on the Oracle data source name, and click on OData, you'll see this is where we configure the OData schema. For OData to work, you have to map the tables and columns within the database to an OData schema within the Hybrid Data Pipeline server. We support both OData version 4 and OData version 2. When we click on Edit Configuration, it's going to allow you to see all of the tables that exist in the database. It will also let you drill down and see the columns within those. Here I've selected the depth table and the emp table. It also is showing you that it picked up the primary keys from that database. And we will click save and close. And then we will click update. Once that's updated, you'll see we have a green check that shows that the schema map was successfully synced. And then if we click the link icon, you'll see that we are able to connect directly to the OData endpoint, which is being served from the Hybrid Data Pipeline server. You'll see the Oracle database name. You also see the metadata information being returned. Now that we've configured our OData endpoint within the Hybrid Data Pipeline server, we can go into Salesforce and using Salesforce Connect, set up the external data connection to that OData endpoint. We'll start by clicking on Setup, finding External Data, clicking New External Data Source, 
naming our source, choosing Salesforce Connect OData4, pasting in the URL to the OData source that we copied from the hybrid data pipeline server. We can opt to make this writable so you can have full read and write capability. Choose our authentication to name principal and our protocol to password. We'll put in our credentials and click Save. Now we'll click Validate and Sync. To validate the external data source and synchronize its schema with Salesforce, we select both of the tables and click Sync. Once this runs, you'll see that we now show the external objects are synchronized with Salesforce. To view that data within Salesforce, I like to create a tab. Go into the tabs option. We can create a new custom object. We're going to do this for EMPS. We'll choose a tab style. We'll click next. And then we will click next through these profile screens and save. And here you'll see that custom tab. And then you'll also see it up in the row of tabs at the top of the screen. If we click on that, we can edit the view to bring in all of the fields that are available. Click Save. And here you're seeing data directly coming from the Oracle database. Thank you for watching this demo of Progress's hybrid data pipeline and seeing how it can help you OData enable your databases for use with Salesforce Connect. If you would like to download the hybrid data pipeline trial, you can do so from our website. I've also included some links here to tutorials for Azure and AWS. We also have tutorials available for other services. Thank you again for your interest in hybrid data pipeline. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you.